Hi there, Bruce Kingsley from BruceKModelTrains.com. In part six, we're looking at the progress of the cab. As you can see, no more electronics on the workbench anymore. They're mounted behind the dash. Also made was the throttle stand and the uh, switch control panel mounted onto the left of it. Also completed the uh, independent brake valve assembly mounted to the bottom of the dash with the bell valve mounted right next to it. All these components eventually do get mounted to a special floor with uh, plates, uh, nut plates on the bottom of it so they all stay together but I've made this so it can be disassembled and transported. Uh, also uh, completed the windshield assembly with the, uh, a gasket that looked just like the uh, type that the F7 and the profile of the windshield. This will later get mounted on top of the dash with the LCD monitor right behind it. As you can see on the dash details I chose to use the, uh, the old dial light type lights and old rotary switches that I found used and uh, use the uh, green that a lot of the older locomotives but kept the brake valves the gray as if they were removed and overhauled and painted uh, independently so uh, that's all that we have for today uh, I'm hoping that we'll be starting to get the windshield mounted and uh, actually uh, uh, playing uh, one of the wireless videos here of the uh, actual locomotive running down the tracks here real soon. Talk to you later.